Hi everyone, welcome to Feng Shui Cafe. In this video, I'll share with you eight important Feng Shui tips to enhance your wealth in the living room. In Feng Shui, the living room is one of the most important spaces in the house. We can use the living room to enhance our wealth in many ways, such as using decorations, lighting, indoor plants, and pictures. And most importantly, there is a money corner in the living room that can help you attract more wealth. Let's go and find out. Number one is the direction of the living room. According to the Chinese Hou Tian Ba Gua, Northwest represents the husband or father. If the living room is in the direction of Northwest, it's then considered good feng shui for the father or the husband's career and wealth. Number two is the area and height of the living room. If the area of the living room is relatively large, it can help the father or the husband to enhance his career and wealth luck. If the ceiling is high, it can also increase his social status. Number three is the location of the money corner in the living room. The money corner is located in the corner that's diagonally opposite the entry of your living room. To find out where is the money corner, you can stand at the midpoint of the entry of the living room, then draw a straight line from the entry to the opposite corners. The one with the longest distance is your money corner. It's also important to note that the corner has to be a solid corner, not a walkway. The reason it has to be a solid corner is because solid walls can help gathering wealth. Once you identified your money corner, you can put a wealth enhancer in this corner, such as a gold ingot or a money jar to boost your wealth. Number four is the brightness of the living room. The living room should be bright. If your living room doesn't get enough sunlight, you can install a chandelier to increase the brightness of the living room and increase the young energy. If you have a large chandelier hanging in the middle of the living room, make sure it's a round-shaped chandelier. According to the Chinese Tian Yuan Di Fang theory, meaning sky is round, earth is square, the chandelier should be round-shaped in order to enhance the husband or the father's career and social status. However, if you have too many windows in your living room, that's not good feng shui because when you have too much yang energy entering the living room, the yin and yang are no longer balanced, which could cause financial loss. Number five, pictures in the living room. In the living room, it's best to hang pictures of flowers, a lake, fish, or tall trees. This is because flowers represents prosperity, water and fish represent wealth, and tall trees represent higher social status. Number six, position of the sofa in the living room. The sofa in the living room needs to be placed against the wall because the wall can provide strong support and protection. However, if there is a heavy traffic behind you, that's not good feng shui. A suggested remedy is to cover the window with a curtain to block the negative energy rushing into the living room. Number seven is the ceiling of the living room. Make sure there are no exposed beams on the ceiling, especially if it's right above the sofa. The beams could create lots of pressure and affect your health. Similarly, if you have a sloped ceiling in the living room, it would also cause health issues. A remedy for this type of ceiling is to hang crystal balls on the beams in order to reduce the negative qi. Number eight, indoor plants in the living room. Avoid putting plants with leaves that have sharp angles. This is not good feng shui. The best indoor plants to be placed in the living room should have leaves that are large, wide, and slightly rounded, like a wealth ingot that can bring you good luck. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message and subscribe to my channel.